this is this. Oh, okay. Which one's left? It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. That's how you're comfortable. It really doesn't matter. I would go the other way, but. That's your microphone. Yeah. Okay. All right. We are back. Justin Scalia alongside Bob Lee. And a little lane shift here. We're going to 19 and 20. We have joining this match in progress. I will keep you updated for the official in-house scoreboard while Bob gets situated. So we got two matches per pair as we're in the final eight. On 19 and 20, we have we got Tim Douglas on the left. He started out strike spare. Is at 30 through two plus two balls. Nick Zaffalato starting out spare seven and nine. He's at 26 through two. Freshy drops nine there. Got three pieces of wood, not in, any, not in any sort of a good spot, although the two of them are getting out of the way. Douglas looking to load up there. He leaves, he drops seven on his first ball. Nick Cephalato got here by defeating Brian Kroll and Bob Whitcomb as he took out the bowler of the year in, in the second round. Tim Douglas took out the number 24 seed, Dean Sullivan, and the number eight seed, Richie Myrick. Freshy looking at the nine pin here. I think he can get by that wood. That's what he's trying to do, and he gets nothing there. And, oh, Tim only gets the one there. So eight fell. He's at 38 through two. As and Freshy spinning wood there. That's going to be nine. Tim with a nine off the eight fell. So Tim Douglas at 47 through three. And Freshy at 35. So we're down to the final eight. Two matches here on 19 and 20. Well, Paul Grant and Dave Chestakov have 23 and 24 covered with the two matches over there. And Freshy off to the right. He's got the Kaliri left. Timmy goes through the middle, gets the split to break up. He's got a little cluster there on the right, the three, six, nine, and 10. He should just be able to plow it straight back. Freshy takes out just the two pin. Timmy goes probably a little lower than he wanted. And judging by his reaction, I'd say he missed his, his target, but it goes anyway. He gets the spare though, he's 57 in a ball. Fresh, he gets that, oops, no, sorry, seven. So he sits at 42 through four. The other match, so another quarterfinal action. Next up on this pair, we got Corey Packard and Dave Barber over on 23 and 24. We got Sean Baker against the hometown boy, Matt Nichols, and Jeff Sorette and Keith Beaupre. Sean Baker with an off to an 83 and a ball start. He started off the string with running five marks in a row. Meanwhile, back here on 19 and 20, Zafalato takes out half Worcester left. Tim Douglas looking at the one, two, and four. And Freshy still got five left. Tim chops out just the head pin. And Freshy with a beautiful 10 box. He's at 52 at the half. Tim Douglas with a 10 with a nice 74 half. Now Corey Packard and Dave Barber will step up. Dave Barber, the lone, the lone by bowler to advance in this, this set of matches. Barber advanced by knocking out the number 10 seed, John Winchell. Corey Packard took out Brian Fuller Jr. and the number two seed, Dave Godwin. If you look across the final eight, only three of the top eight are remaining. Both bowlers here drop six to start. Barber's got the two, four, six, and seven. Runs the left side. Barber 
Harvick goes on the low end, and he's got it. On the low tip of the wood, the ball deflects back into the eight for the spare. Very sharply angled piece of wood here for Corey. He's going to want to drive that straight back. A little light, but gets the friendly bounce off the sidewall to match Barbara Spare with one of his own. And Barbara, a little full drop seven. He's got the four, six, and ten. And Corey off to the left, drops five. He's got the four horsemen right in the seven. Apologies for the technical difficulties on, this, on, on the, uh, the video there. Looks like we have it now. Barbara gets the 10. He's at 37 through 3. And Corey with an 8. He's at 33 through 3. So an early 4 pin lead here for Dave Barber. A quick update over on 23 and 24. Jeff Soret off to an early six-pin lead over Keith Beaupre, 67-61, picking up where he left off in the last round. But Keith has a fill. Back over here, Barber drops seven. He's got the six, seven, ten. Piece of, piece of wood out in front where the head pin be, which I'm going to guess that's where he's going to try to play it. And Corey goes through the middle. He takes out the one, five, and the, then the one, four, and five. Four falls late. Piece of wood right in that spot. Barbara tries to cut the six into the wood. And didn't hit it fine enough. And Corey trying to get something off the wall. Still has four left. Barber gets the 10, so he's at 47 through 4. Corey, Corey with a 9, he's at 42 through 4. So, 5 pin lead with, for Dave Barber with one box left. Barber with a little full gets. Gets a splash effect, drops nine. Coral Spur drops that oh, that wood sells in a good spot. Oh, Bob, a little bit left. Not worried to go there. Right. Woods. Woods in a good spot. She hurt him. He tries to go outside on the two, missed a little, a little too far outside. Barber checks his 10 for a perfect 57 half. And he gets his 9, so he's 51. So Barber with a 6 pin lead, 5 boxes. Now we get back up. Tim Douglas with a 22 pin lead. Douglas a little full. 3 6 on the right, 4 pin on the left. His glove goes to the radar gun. The only two. It's on a 43 mile an hour heater. Only takes out two there. Oh, fresh, he throws the hole. A little 34 mile an hour change up. That'll be a change up for Timmy anyway. He only gets one. For a nine box. And 
Freshly with a disappointing six bucks. So he's at 58 through six. Tim with a nine, he's at 83. Meanwhile, as a look over on 23 and 24, Sean Baker with eight marks and nine boxes. Yeah, 146 in the ball on the ninth, put hurting on Matt Nichols right now. Tim a little full, he's got the 214. Fresh, Fresh gets the splash effect. Stefalato with the strike at the seven. Be looking at the, again, the 2.4, a little too far. Right. Tim gets a nine box. He's at, 90, he's at 92 through seven. Next Pilato, 68 plus two. Meanwhile, Sean Baker with a nice 162 over on the other end of the house. To, uh, to my right. Let's get it. So Timmy drops seven. He's got the six and ten. Freshy on his first first ball. Takes out only five. He's a little more favorable. Tim going for the wood, trying to get it to bounce off the wall and only gets the one pin in the corner. Freshly looking at the one, two, seven, nine, and ten. He's got a piece behind the two that's lined up to the eight. Oh, the nine, excuse me. Right. Only gets two there, so it's seven, Phil. It. That puts him at 75 through seven. Tim gets the nine. He's at 101 through eight. Freshly gets two more for the nine. He's 84 through eight. Tim Douglas up 17 here, 101 to 84. Well, we're 23 and 24. Sean Baker, 162 to 113 after one. Tim with a nice first ball there. A little full, but he gets a split to break up. He's got the baby split left, the two and a seven, with, a, with two favorite pieces of wood. Freshy with a beautiful ball, but. Not as beautiful of a lead. He's got the six, seven, and eight with two pieces of wood off to the left. And Tim gets nothing on that second ball. And Fresh is going to try to use it. And doesn't do the piece and gets just the seven. And oh, I guess that wood wasn't as favorable as I thought. Nine there for Douglas. He's at 110 through nine. I'm sure if that would have worked, but we'll never know. Freshy with a 90 with a nine box for a 93 through nine. Right, with one box to go here in string one. Reminder, this is a two string. This is a two string match. They're all two string matches today. Douglas with a beautiful hammer on lane 20. The Filato dropped seven with an inverted triangle. He's got the five, six, and the nine. A little frustrated, understandably so. Hasn't exactly gotten much to look at. He's either going to have to. Play uh, yeah. five through six. He tries to cut the six over. I think that was the higher percentage play. It's a two there. So pressure gets ten for a disappointing 103. So, Tim Douglas already at 120 plus two, so the lead's going to be 17 plus whatever he gets here, so it's more than likely going to be somewhere in the 20s. Damn. Just as good of a ball there, but he's the 5 and the 10. Oh, 
Douglas with a nine. He has his first string of 129, so it's a 129 to 103 lead for Tim Douglas after one. As Bobber and Packer get back, Dave with a six pin lead. And start the back half here, string one. pocket. Drops eight, the two and the five. Barber with a beautiful ball, takes a ball. Strike of the sixth, Dave Barber. Corey covers the two pender for the spare, and a wood step, perfect spot. Packard 61, the ball. Meanwhile, we're on 23 and 24. Keith Beaupre with 137, 114 lead over Jeff Surrett, the defending Pro Series playoff champion. Halfway through their match. Boy back in the pocket, drop seven. He's got the three, six, and nine. Barber looking for the double. He's got eight. Got some favorable wood there behind the six. Just like that piece is far to the left. You should be able to just drive the three pin straight back. And he's got it. that might have gone without the with where he hit it. A two in a row for Corey Packard. And Barbara plays it beautifully. Two in a row for two in a row of his own. Getting the friendly kick off the wall. Two in a row for Dave Barbara. So the lead is the lead is now up to nine. 87-78. Oh, Corey with a half whisker, half whisker right, two fill. Barbara buries it, drops nine. Open that wood to get out of the way. Yes, it does. Now, Corey only, only takes out the 7A on his second ball. He's still got five left. Barber with a clean look at the six. Clipped the wood on the way by, but he's got it. Three marks in a row, Dave Barber. And Corey only gets the four, so a disappointing six. Puts him at 86 through eight. Dave Barber, however, at 106 and a ball, he's got a 20 pin lead plus whatever he gets here. Barber throws such a great ball for this house that sharp left to right cut in the one-two pocket. He remains perfect here in the eight. As Packard back in the pocket drops nine. And just as I say that, Barber with the spread eagle. Problem that I have with this place sometimes. He gets a spare. And Barber shoots the two over, only gets the 10. He's got two left. Over four fill puts him at 110 through eight. Barber with the 10 puts him at 120. Corey Packer to 96 minus, oh, plus the fill. So he'll have to cut into this what's now a 24 pin lead. Corey throws a bit of a left to right ball like I do. So sometimes uh, thin hits in the one pocket here can be uh, a little tricky. Exactly give us the friendliest of spare leads. Corey goes a little full one two. He drops seven. Barber off to the right. Leaves a Kaleri left. Corey shooting at the three four and six. Piece of wood in the back that won't be a factor. Or at least it won't get in the way. He'll look to cut the three pin over. And only one. Uh, 
Barber just gets the sleep. And Corey hits Burton for an box for a 111. Barber. Almost thought. Looked like it was going to steal the head pin there. But no, no dust for a nine box. But Dave Barber with an 18 pin lead. 29 to 111 as we go to the second string of this quarterfinal match here at Timberlands in Abington. Well, Sean Baker off to another hot start. We're on 23 and 24. He's 64 on the ball. Nickel hasn't gotten a mark yet. Looks like Baker's pretty much put that thing away already. Freshy little full gets a split to break up. He's got the 3 6. Douglas with the 1 3 6. A little tricky piece of wood in there. Oh, and he gets it anyway. Gets the friendly bounce. Freshy outside. He's going to fit a piece of wood. Uh, nope. Looked like, looked like he might have gotten, gotten a break off the wall, but still has those same 3 6 to look at. Freshy gets a 10. And well, as I look over 23, Keith Beaupre for the strike to start. Thought he had a double, but they put the two strikes in too quick. And so Douglas gets a split to break up. Certainly helps when you throw ball at that speed, you get splits to break up a lot more easily. He gets eight. Fresh with a little thin mixing ball. Only six, though. And Tim chops out just the two. Maybe four miles an hour at a time. Put a little extra in it. Like a, got blocked, my view got blocked out. I couldn't quite tell where he hit the wood there. But Tim gets his 10 though, 28 through 2. And Freshy covers the 10. He's at 20 through 2. So Tim has put, added another 8 pins to his lead. He's up 34. 8 boxes to go. Douglas with a beautiful hammer ball. Six pin goes last. Freshy. Drops nine. And he's got it. Two miles an hour less than two throw, but Speed doesn't matter. Well, D doesn't matter that much in this game. Unless I'm carrying through all like that. Pieces of wood. Yeah. 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 Douglas Little full again. He's got six. He's hoping for that piece of wood to stick around. It's not good. And it's going to stay right there. He dropped six. Fresh looking to fill his spare. He does with eight. Gets some wood around. And got it. Spare on strike for Tim Douglas. A little bit of a wiggle, a little wiggle room on that shot, but gets it perfectly. Fresh drives it home for spare. He was shooting at the three nine. That, those two pieces of the wood in there, he had to be a little careful, but he played where he needed to be. He's got two in a row of his own. Both bowlers will go their fifth box here. And Douglas Little Finn's getting the mix. He's got six. Freshy buries it. 
Drop nine. He's got the seven pin with three pieces of wood right there in front. Should be able to go right at it, no problem. Douglas looking at the five, six, nine, and the ten. He wanted to be on that other piece. And ooh, freshy. Oof. Use every last inch of that piece of wood and gets it. So Freshy with three in a row. And his first half is at 67 at all. But Douglas with 74. So Tim has added seven pins to the lead. He's at 33 at the half. Well, so Corey, Pat, Corey and Dave will get back up and start their second ring. Dave Bob with an 18 pin lead. As I look over on the 23 and 24, Keith Beaupre off to, uh, he's up 50, he's um, up 57, 44 in this string. He's adding another 13 pins onto his lead. Well, you know, back here, Corey drops down, he's got an angle piece in front. Not favorable in the least. He's going to have to go high on that piece and drive it back. Barbara's looking at half Worcester right. And a little too high. And he gets. And Barbara with the half Worcester conversion. What a shot. Corey picks the 10. Barbara's lead still at 18. The fill. Uh, Sean Baker has just about got his match mathematically wrapped up with Matt Nichols over on 23 and 24. Corey drops eight. Barbara six. Corey's looking at the five and the nine. Barbara the 2, 4, 7, 10. Barbara Sixville puts him at 16 after one. And Corey goes outside the two pen. He's got it. Big spare for Corey Packard. Barbara goes outside on the two off the wall. Leaves the seven somehow. And clips the seven pin on the way by for the two box. So Barbara's at 26 through two here in the second. Corey at 20 plus. Baker with a 77 pin lead in his match for Matt Nichols, so that match is over. And Corey, a little full, gets a split to break up. He drops eight, 28 through two. Barber drops six, four, and right. Got a, got a piece of wood just to the left, per, perpendicular to the, to the head pin. Cork splits the two pin perfectly, two marks in a row. Barber, ooh, I don't think he wanted to catch that wood. Only gets the two. Corey's got two in a row here. He's going to chop into this a little bit. He only gets nine. He's at 35 through three. Corey at 30 plus. Whatever he gets on this fill. He's got the lead down. 25. Yeah. 20. Get the lead down to 25. with the plus in there, it's not registering it, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Corey drops seven. Yeah. The, yeah. And Barbara gets it to break up, drops nine. Corey's got the five, six, and ten. A piece of frozen wood on the five. Seen a lot of the five, six, 
410 and 457 on this pair today, the two matches that I recorded previous to this. Those matches, depending on a little post-production editing, will get uploaded to the Spreading the Productions YouTube channel in due time. Oh. Corey goes for the two on the right, only gets the nine. And Barbara uses, uses the help of the wood and gets the spare. Corey, Corey gets the 10, he's got a 55, 55 through 4. Barbara 45 plus a ball. Overall leading the match as you see here is 8, plus where Dave gets here. Corey buries it in the pocket, drops nine. He's got a nice plank in front of the ten pin. And Barbara very thin in the one two, but gets a nice mix. He's got the check mark on the right. And Corey picks it up. 65 on the ball for Corey Packard. And oh, Barbara leaves the 10 pin. Going outside on the check mark and can't get that back pin to carry. Gets the 10, however. So Barbara with a 61 half. Corey Packard at six. Corey Packard 65 on the ball. So. Dave Barber with a 14-pin lead heading into the last five, but Corey has the fill. Meanwhile, over on 23 and 24. Looks like Surrett's got the lead under 20. Pressure on his fill. Drop. Meanwhile, back over here, drop seven. That gets the lead down. 26. He's got 7, 8, and 10. Timmy goes through the middle. He's got the 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10. Fresh is probably going to look to split the two pieces of wood here. And he's got it. Right on cue. Nick Zeffalato, two in a row. Oh, excuse me, four in a row. with an 8. The 82 through 6. She's at 84 in the ball here in the 6. Cut the lead to 24. Four knocks in a row. Still perfect through 6. Looks like Jeff Sorrett in double strike territory over on 23 against Keith Beaupre. The lead by my count. Keith has a 15-pin lead. Meanwhile, back here, fresh little full drops eight. He's at 92 through six. He's got it down 16. Douglas only six. He's got the two, four, seven, and eight. He's got a got a couple couple favorite pieces there. Should just be able to drive the two pin straight back. And he's got it. Five in a row for Fresh. And Tim, the big match of the seventh. That's going to keep it at 16. Meanwhile, Keith Beaupre with a strike in the 10th on 24. So he wraps up he wraps up the victory over Jeff Surrett. So Keith Beaupre and Sean Baker are going to move on. Over on. Over on that pair. Back here, she drops eight with the two-pinner. Douglas back in the pocket. He gets the five to go for the strike. Strike on Bear. Thank you. 
Ritchie looking for six in a row, and he just misses off to the left. Tim Douglas with a little bit of momentum here. We're down to 18 through completed boxes. The lead is 18, plus whatever Tim gets on the strike. A little bit of momentum switches. Douglas strike on spear. Rashi back in there. Drop seven. And Douglas is that one gets away from him. Takes out only three, but he's got another fill ball. He takes out the 3 8 9. And she can't be missing shots now. Douglas bounces back for the spare. What a shot. Three in a row for Tim Douglas. That is going to just about put. That is going to just about put it away. So Tim Douglas, 132 in a ball. In the ninth, Freshies at 129, the lead is 29 plus, so this match is over. He says keep it on the lane, and that'll do it. So Tim Douglas is going to move on to the semifinals. Freshie made a valiant run at it, but just ran out of box. Douglas with the nine. Ooh, nine after two, that is. Freshie made the run at him, but Douglas ran off three in a row of his own to put the match away. So Tim Douglas, 140 with a 147 here in the second. Freshie's 138. So Tim Douglas advances 270 to 241. So now the second match gets back up. Date. Yep, 276 to 2. Right. Correct. Yep, correct. 276 to 241. So, Barbara Little Full drops six. He's up 14 with five boxes to go, minus whatever Corey gets on this fill. Hoping to knock this thing down to single digits. And he won't spread eagle. That will drop it down to 10. Bobber only gets one. And Corey goes outside off the wall. And he's almost got it. Four pin fell just to the left of the seven. What a bit on the spread eagle. Barber with a beautiful 10 box. Taking out the two, six, seven. Corey with a 10. So Corey at 79 through 6. Barber at 71. Overall in the match is now 10. And Barber a little full. He's got 6. He's got the 3, 4, 6, and 7. Corey on the 1 3. Got the side saddle triangle, the 2 5 and 8. And Barber only gets one. And doors open for Corey just a little bit. Oh, catches the wood. I don't think he wanted that. Barber gets one for an eight. Corey. Corey will chop it to pin off. He chopped two. So Corey's at 89 through eight, seven. Day 79. The lead is down to eight. Oh, 
five with a nice first ball there. Gets a seven pin to trip. He's got the six ten with two pieces, three pieces of wood over there. Should not be an issue. Corey also drops eight, but he's got the six and the seven. Barbara gets it to go anyway. Not where you want to put that one. You get a friendly bounce off the cap. But, bear in the eighth. That's, that's a line drive box score. That's Corey Chups. Corey Chups out just the six. Gets the 10. So Corey sits at 99 through 8, Barber at 89, plus the fill. So Barber's not, not over yet. Barber with an 8 pin lead. The tip from the spare isn't factored in yet. As Barber drops 9, good ball there. Wait we'll for the settle in nice, and he does. He drops 9, he's got the four pin with nothing around. He's got to get the lead back up to 17. Corey with a beautiful ball. He drops nine of his own. Also looking at the four pin. And Bob gets his. Corey, Corey's in must, in must mark territory at this point. He's got it. Matching spares in the ninth. The lead remains at the lead remains at 17. So Corey, at the very least, is in double strike territory, maybe triple, depending on. He's, he's got to hope that got to hope Barbara doesn't fill this mark very well. Only four. So Corey. A little bit of an opening here. Yeah. 